Alrighty, so we, uh, I think we just left. Did we leave? Are we leaving Grand Coulee, um, town? Yes. Okay. Crossing the bridge, going into Omac, aren't we? Uh, Are we Omac's near? way up the hill here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, but it's in this direction, right? There's another shot of that massive dam. My gosh. Wow. You can walk across the bridge and it gives you information on those signposts about the formation of the bridge and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't like bridges. <laughs> I know y'all be wondering why she just sits still, just sit in the corner. So like railroad tracks, and bridges. And... All right, we're headed toward O Mac, and if our refrigerator was already uh, hooked up and cool, we'd probably do our. Um, uh, did that say Way Welcome? Are, are we in a town called Way now? Nope. What does that mean? Way welcome is, is it's a welcome from the Colville tribes and it had each of the twelve tribes listed on the signboard to show you the, the, the nations that are in this area. Oh okay. Traditional area. Mm -hmm. And they, they were granted some two million acres. Oh that's right, that's right, yep. Anyway, I don't know what I was saying. That sign distracted me, but Oh, if I was saying that if we were, running. yes, if our refrigerator was running, we would pick up our our perishables in OMAC, you know, our meat and eggs and things like that, but we'll wait and uh, do it tomorrow or it's Monday, probably tomorrow, so. Hmm? Where it's more expensive. Well, it's all because the refrigerator's not plugged in, so. And our cooler is full, so we can't, we can't shop. And put the stuff in our cooler and ice it down because if our cooler was empty, we could. But it's full <laughs> of stuff that we uh, took with us out of our refrigerator because we, you know, uh, it was half used mayonnaise Trust and it. stuff like that, and we didn't want to lose it, so we just took it with us and put it in our refrigerator in Oklahoma, and we still have it. So anyway, there you go. There you. Go. All right, you guys. So we'll be back later. Hi guys, welcome back, and we are passing through, or we're getting ready to enter into the little town of Oroville. It is uh, the last town in the uh, American Okanagan before we cross over into the Canadian Okanagan. And uh, we went ahead and finished our shopping. Uh, the only thing we weren't really sure about like last time was the chicken we know that there's a restriction on chicken and we couldn't remember what states it is restricted to take it across the border so we opted out to just don't get no chicken so hopefully we did okay with um, uh, the meat that we did get uh, we don't want to break any laws or anything so we were trying to be careful what we got the best of our memory. They've changed some things. I'm not sure what those changes are. Like they don't use the declaration forms anymore that they used to. So, you know, it's kind of hard to know what what's good and what's not good. So hopefully it's not just going by how somebody feels that day. Uh, hopefully there is some, some uh, solid laws in place and that the border uh, agents are going by that and not just whether they're having a bad day or not. So I hate dealing with people's attitudes, but anyway. So um, once we get past here, the next time you will hear from me, we will be pulling up to our RV. And then after that, well, it might be a few days because <laughs> I'm tired. She's tired. I'm tired now. She's real tired. It's been a long trip. It's been a quick trip. This is the quickest trip uh, that we've made to the United States on wheels. We have done a two-week trip before, but we flew. <laughs> we flew in and rented a car and flew back. So, um, yeah. And also, we're going to get our gas here like we always do, and um, and then we'll cross. Then we'll cross over. So, thank you so much for going with us, and thank you for. All of your prayers and support. Um, uh, next week, 
We'll be going to over to the hospital and get um, Chris's foot x-rayed, get it looked at, and make sure everything's okay. It's still swollen, not nothing like it was. Uh, but uh, if it's not a hairline fracture, then he certainly, you know, tore a tendon or something in there. But anyway, I've done that before. It took me about a year to heal, which they say is about normal. Um, but anyway, so thank you so much for going with us on this long, sometimes exciting, sometimes, uh, sometimes uneventful <laughs> journey. And, uh, Hey, what can I tell you, right? Write your comments below, subscribe, share our channel with other people who like to travel, whether it's by RV or, you know, motorcycle or scooter or whatever. You know, we just like to enjoy our lives. God said he intended for us to enjoy the life he gave us. So that's what we're trying our best to do. All right, you guys. Thanks for going with us. And as always, keep tripping.